Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. I did make this video last year, and since then, it's been my biggest and most viewed video, so thank you guys for that. But my preferences have changed, and that's part of the fashion journey, you know, refinements, growth. So, anyways, let's talk about my top five favorite pants for streetwear outfits, brought to you by ShopTag. Now, I've personally been using ShopTagger for over a year now, and I really do think that everyone should get this extension or mobile app if you guys do any form of online shopping. Let me tell you why. You guys already know about the Nike Lab ACG Fall Winter 18 Cargo Pants. These pants are always, always sold out on Nike's website. I had such a hard time finding these, especially in my size, because these run two sizes too big in my opinion, so I was looking for an extra small, couldn't find it anywhere. But Nike's always had it on their site, it was just always sold out, so I tagged it with ShopTagger, and they actually notified me about the restock, and I was able to capitalize on that and get my size, and now they're sold out again. So whenever you guys download ShopTagger, you guys can just start tagging your favorite items with that blue square that pops up, and when you tag an item, ShopTagger will notify you by email or push notification on your phone if an item goes on sale or restocks. And the choice is yours on when to get notified. If you wanna have them notify you when it's 25% or 50% off, you can do that. I personally just always set it for any price change, and you can always make organized lists of items items that you tagged based on aesthetics that you like, like I have it set, or you can just organize it based on garment piece. It's totally up to you. I find it makes shopping easier and more thought out. But even if an item you tag isn't on sale, I always just go to checkout anyways because ShopTagger will pop up with the best potential coupon codes that you can apply so that you can save even more money. So guys, click the link in the description, download the ShopTagger extension or the mobile app on your phone, start tagging your favorite items, and thank you ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. Okay, so we all know to get an outfit down, you need at least a shirt, a pair of pants, and footwear. So with pants taking up most of the real estate on your body, it's arguably the more important piece of fabric that you throw on since it also complements the sneakers. So let's start off with pants that are pretty much a given for any wardrobe, for lounging, or everyday fits, the athletic training pants. So I've got these three pants here, all of them come from Aesthetic Revolution, and first off, we got a pair of joggers. So five or six years ago, joggers were definitely the move, that was the wave back then, but nowadays, you want to avoid joggers at all costs, except for training joggers. These are a minimalistic design, nothing crazy to it, has some white contrast against the zippers, and they are really tapered, which is okay for training purposes. I wear these a lot for lounging at home during the colder months. And for the warmer months, I am wearing training shorts. Now, I'm not really a big fan of shorts in general, but it's really hot, I need to let my legs breathe, and I really like these shorts because I can put my phone in the thigh area and go for a run without any worry about having to drop it, Plus, these can be worn in the colder months as long as you're wearing compression pants, aka leggings for men. And last of the training pants are these cargo pants. I mentioned these in the last top five pants video, but I really like these because these are out of the factory meant for training, but they also pair well with regular outfits. I can't really say too much about the joggers or the shorts. They definitely should just stay in their fitness lane, but these pants, they can veer off. They can be worn with regular street fits, athleisure, or just loungewear. I wear these most often than most of my other pants because sometimes it's just nice to have a zipper pocket so you don't have to worry about your stuff sliding out underneath your car seats. Plus they have an adjustable tapering cuff to show off the sneakers. But yeah, you definitely need athletic training pants, whether it be that track pants type of material or these sweats for your everyday fits, comforts, and just loungewear in general. Now you definitely don't have to go to Aesthetic Revolution because their stuff is quite pricey. Uh, this is just what I have on hand. There's other brands like Alpha Lee, Gymshark, and all that. So I suggest if you guys do go here or any other place where it's out of your price range, hey man, just tag it with ShopTagger, wait for it to go on sale, they'll notify you. Now the next pair of pants is the simple black denim. For myself, I don't really own any dark wash denim because I always gravitated towards the black denim. I find that they are the most versatile pants for pretty much any aesthetic of your taste. You can throw them on with Chelsea boots, Jordan ones, Vans. There isn't a piece of footwear that doesn't go with black denim. Now my suggestion, get different types of fitments. We'll talk about this a little bit later in the video, but getting a pair of skinny, slim, or straight cut denim will give you options and it just makes this fashion thing a lot more fun versus just wearing the same fitment every day for the rest of your life. And always get a pair with stretch in it. The skinnies, you can play with contrasting fitments or to complement that more casual menswear look. The straight cut allows you to play with your proportions better, plus it always looks dope when it's cuffed with crew socks. And the slim pair is just your in-betweener. You're not gonna notice too much compared to the skinnies because it's all black, but you notice it when you're wearing it. The comfort, how it complements your sneakers, you're gonna notice that. These pants can also be a DIY project, whether it be distressing the knee area or cropping the bottom of your pants with a pair of scissors. Choice is yours, totally up to you. Now brands like Levi's, All Saints, Keisubi are the place to go for long lasting denim, which you will pay a premium for 
or you can go the cheaper route like Hyper Denim, Minimal, or Uniqlo for a good bang for the buck. Or you can go to fast fashion stores to save a lot of money, but it's probably gonna last you until tomorrow. Next up, we got my favorite pair of pants, the cargo pants. I find these pants to be more aesthetically pleasing and it does suit my fashion taste at the moment. I know these really came back because of celebrities like Travis Scott, hence why so many people are on those snap cargos, the military cargos, corduroy cargos. Forget the snap cargos, forget the corduroy cargos, just start simple and minimalistic. So I suggest staying away from the cargo joggers. Brands like H&M and Essentials are a good place to start. You just want to see if you like these pants or not. Then you can move on to more utility looking pants with straps and all of that, and then technical cargo pants. Either way, cargo pants are the same price as denim, if not a little bit more, and you get more design, more fabric, and more storage. It's really a different vibe than just regular denim, and that's why it's my favorite pants to wear on the daily. All right, so I touched on this a little bit earlier. The next pair of pants you need are straight cut or relaxed fitting pants. Now, most of y'all are probably never going to go here because you love your skinny denim. I get it. It took me a while to give this fitment a shot, but when you do try it out, it really does change your outfit completely. I say just get these pants, especially if you are going to be wearing chunkier sneakers like the Air Force One, because the biggest thing I still see is people wearing chunky ass shoes with skinny denim. To me, that just reminds me of 2006 where you'd wear skinny denim with thick ass DVS shoes whenever you were skating. It's just not my taste, but hey, you do you. That's what fashion is for. I can't really dress. It's totally subjective. Wear whatever the hell you want, but hey, that's what these pants are for. Plus the cropped or cuff pants look with crew socks is just unmatched. If you try that look with skinny pants, I don't think it looks good. But if you do it with relaxed fitting pants, I find it more tasteful. And I think it makes your outfits more fun because you have other things to think about like your proportions and all that. So get these pants to rock with chunkier shoes, cuff it, crop it with crew socks. I'm definitely gonna recommend these pants that I've been showing, the Dickies 874 work pants. I just got these by the way. These are a great place to start because most skaters have adopted this into their aesthetic. And because these were specifically made for working, you know, construction and all that. So you know that these are gonna hold up very well. And guess what? These are $22, man. Can't beat that. Cheapest pair of pants in my wardrobe. Now, last but not least are the technical pants. So honestly, those first pants are probably the only pairs of pants you're gonna need for the rest of your life. These pants are just more so for myself because I like this type of aesthetic and because of my future living situations. And by technical pants, I mean pants that are actually functional. So having modularity to change up the look of the pants or weatherproofing are just a few examples of functionality. I'm going to be moving back to New York City whenever things calm down in the world. And with New York, winters are pretty brutal and it just precipitates out there more so than the New Mexican desert. But yeah, tech wear or technical streetwear fits is more so my style. And these pants definitely complement that look. Brands you can go with are Nike Lab ACG, Nike ACG, Stone Island, Enfin Levy, Acronym of course, but all those can be quite pricey. I find a great place to start and to save some money is 511 Tactical. What you guys wanna look for is materials that are made out of Gore-Tex or materials that have a DWR coating. You guys can do your research on what Gore-Tex is, but a DWR coating just weatherproofs that material. And the thing with this aesthetic is any fitment will look good, whether it's more tapered or insanely baggy. There's a lot of play for these pants because they're actually functional. So what do you guys think? Last year I had distressed denim and a few other things that I don't really like too much anymore. But hey, if you have a list on your top five pants, leave a comment down below. Let me know what that is. You guys can follow me on Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTai. Turn the like button blue for the YouTube algorithm so that they can show love to the channel. Helps my channel a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out. Peace.